as the world prepares to say goodbye to Queen Elizabeth II, a historic security operation is gearing up. People are still waiting in lines as long as 24 hours from the back to the front to pay their respects. But the period of public mourning is winding down. Today, the Queen's grandchildren are following their parents, honoring the Queen by standing vigil over her coffin. It comes amid an incident Friday inside Westminster. London Metropolitan Police say officers from parliamentary and diplomatic protection detained a man who may have rushed the casket. ABC News has the latest. As mourners continue to pay their respects, those hoping to see the queen must first stand in a queue. The queue starts here, more than five miles from Westminster Hall, where the queen is lying in state. The queue growing and growing, wait times reaching close to 22 hours, even as temperatures dropped. So many people coming out, the queue even had to be put on pause for eight hours, prompting reports a new line had formed to join the queue, a very British phenomenon. That's what we're all used to now. We just queue. I guess we car always brought up with it. I think it's something that you do in England. Um, so yeah, we just yeah, we're used we, to it. We're, yeah, we just continue basically. <laughs> Those who brave the long wait times are coming prepared, bringing snacks and water. Hundreds of porta potties set up along the route. And I mean, a 14-hour queue does that not scare you at all? No, it doesn't. Okay, fine. But the queue moves continuously. Mourners are not allowed to set up tents or chairs. The BBC reporting more than 430 people were treated for injuries, 40 hospitalized. A bit further down, Cyrus Moore has also been with the line for hours, checking wristbands and cheering people on. They've been through a lot. Eight hours, seven hours, six hours, I don't know. Five but, we started. but they've dedicated themselves to be here. So if I can inspire them to do the last furlong, I've done my job and it makes me feel proud in my heart that people come home tomorrow morning and say, you know what, it was hard, but that case made me laugh, you know. What did he say? Whispers in a smile? Yep. That's all it takes, a smile. This, as the Queen's children, led by King Charles III, held a silent vigil on Friday, somberly watching over their mother's coffin. Meanwhile, preparations are underway for the Queen's funeral. Guards rehearsing under the cover of darkness as law enforcement gears up for what some are calling the biggest security operation London has ever faced. And tomorrow it'll be the Queen's grandchildren who will honor her by standing vigil beside her coffin. Inez de la Quatera, ABC News, London.